everyone. You designers are here. I'm Anita at Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly at My Soulful Home. And we've got tips and tricks and decorating advice for you. So let's get started. Today is episode 123. Today we're going to talk about where to put your Christmas tree and your Christmas stockings. And how many of you, raise your hand, I, I can see you, um, have put your Christmas tree in the same place in the last for the last 10 years? I see a majority mm. of hands going up. Aha, uh-huh, just as I thought. Well, I go with different sizes. I'm, you know what I'm getting this year? I'm getting a tree that is flat on. It's a fake one that I'm going to try mm-hmm. flat on the back, so I can push it against the wall. This is so ingenious. Oh, stop. I'm so excited about it. Oh, because it's not going to take up so much room in my can house. Can you have them house? send me one? I would love one. I will check on that for you, my dear. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So it's it's. Okay, I've seen awnings and umbrellas like that for outdoors. <laughs> to put- Tables that okay. have only two legs. The- it's like a tree, but you just sawed it in half. <laughs> okay, yes. Because you can uh, put I'm, it up I'm- against a wall. Right. I mean, really, it's ideal Initially, for someone who's got say, limited space. Hmm, to that, but I, I think I'm warming up to it. Okay, be honest. What do you about? What do you do about all the ornaments that you don't love that much? So you put on the back That's of the tree. Exactly <laughs> yeah, right. I know. Well, they- they're not going to have yeah. a home. <laughs> but I mean, the thing is, look, I prefer the look of a tree that's all the way around in, you know, in the room. But if you have limited space, like yeah. I do, for some reason, I don't know. I just don't, it's not that big a house. It's open concept, but I just don't have a lot of, there's windows everywhere and something. So, or you know what? I mean, you can even put I'm that tree in it. a corner as long as it's not, there's not a window there because you wouldn't be able to tell. Oh, now somebody has to make a corner tree. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, corner tree. Well, you can just throw a regular <laughs> tree back there, but a half tree would just work just as well. Um, yeah. But you know, but if you had a tree that was just like a, um, like a slice of pizza and you slid it into the corner. There, there you go. go. <laughs> I have a little tale to tell. For years and years and years and years, I had put, well, since we've moved here, I've put our... Christmas tree in the family room. We have one, we, let's pretend you're looking at the, the fireplace. On the right side are windows outside on, onto the porch. And on the left side, we have French doors, a double set of French doors that go into the living room. So for years and years and years, I've either put it by the French doors in the family room or in the corner by the um, uh, by the windows to the outside. So it's on either side of the fireplace. Well, a company gave me a beautiful Christmas tree and beautiful ornaments. I mean, just to the nines. And I decorated it and I decorated it in my family room. And oh, I just didn't like the look. And I photographed it. It didn't photograph well. It didn't photograph well. And it was over Thanksgiving and my sister and I were sitting in the living room, sort of pondering where on earth this tree could go. And we both like got this brilliant idea at the same time. Well, let's, let's put it in the living room in front of the French doors because it gets a lot of light in there. It's more open. And so instead of de-decorating the whole thing, I mean, this is a, we have over nine foot ceiling. So this is a huge tree, touch the ceiling, totally decorated with probably $1,500 worth of blown glass ornaments. She and I didn't want to de-decorate it. Oh. So we opened the French doors, put her, do you feel, put her do rug you feel under something, it. A disaster coming, no. Kelly, because I'm and sensing we something. we literally tipped the tree over, slid it wow. all the way into the living room, righted it back up and pushed it by the French door. It, was it a real tree? No, it was a very okay. good tree. For, and I, it's not one of our okay. sponsors. So I because if it was real, then you would have been spilling water. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, but so, so glad. It was, I mean, it was like, it, it was a Lucille Ball moment. It sounds like Lucy and Ethel, honest to goodness. We were, we were there pushing this huge tree through these French doors on its Slightly side. Lucy, totally awesome. decorated Lucy. with these yeah. beautiful blow glass ornaments. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh-huh. So now spot. that's where we put our tree. And that's the good spot. Mm-hmm. There you go. Mm-hmm. You figured it out. Well, we also, when the one tree was in the family room, we also, dec- I decorated a tree. We have a pretty open foyer that opens into the, you can, the, the, um, 
dining room and the living room. And I kept a tree there as well, which I really loved. But I had to forego that because you could see the trees. Oh, too many trees. In too view. many trees. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My well, record has because- been five trees. Oh my gosh. Wow. Mm-hmm. Do you, I love you to decorate. move somewhere or you go somewhere? Like we've moved a few times and I always think one of the first thoughts I have when I'm in the house is where's the Christmas tree going to mm-hmm. go? Oh. Right? And like, what is the mm-hmm. best spot? Well, does and it so- always go in one spot in your house? Well, because this is all going to be our third Christmas only. So mm-hmm. it has, no, the first year it was just scrunched in the corner because we were... Uh, See, you could have used one of those corner trees. Yeah, we were still <laughs> that someone's sleep- now going to make up, come up with. It's brilliant. Uh, I think I sh- I have to go now and go do that. We um, we were still sleeping on the couch, on the pulled out sofa couch. But um, <laughs> I remember yeah, those so, days for you. So, so that was kind of a sad Christmas, and all my ornaments were in storage or, or not storage; they were just packed up somewhere. Um, but yeah, in the last last year, and then I think this year we will put. Oh, here's what I'm going to tell you guys. The, the tree went in front of the altar last year, the oh, giant yes, piece yes, of furniture. Yes, yeah. Did mm-hmm. I tell you after getting this great tip from Well, I know where you put it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you put it in the barn, right? Well, yeah, but I, we, I don't know if I told everybody that's listening that I was determined not to be held hostage by that piece of furniture. That you love so much. it was. Mm-hmm. And even the, and I loved it. It was pretty and it was so interesting, but it just it was not working in that room. And no matter I what I so did. I was so proud of you. And I realized, I thought, how is it going to come out? We're going to have to saw it in half. But then I thought, let me slither back there. And sure enough, you could detach the whole top part. And we did that. And then we were able to get the bottom part out of the house. Mm. So now the top part is on the wall in the barn. And I'm going to paint that or do something to it. And it looks fantastic because there's a mirror. And and the bottom part is gone. So I'm going to have a really nice amount of space. For a Christmas Christmas tree? tree This year. Yeah, because now there's two chairs and a table. Well, you can see that on the video that we have Mm -hmm. of the house. Mm -hmm. Um, So just two chairs and a table covered with burlap circular tablecloth are Mm. there now. So that's where the tree was. Kelly, tell us, tell our listeners about your house video. This is so cool. Oh, yeah. So if you guys didn't hear in the last episode, I was uh, approached by this woman who just came to knock on the door because she had watched the transformation of the house. She's a neighbor and she knocked on the door one day about 10 months Only ago. in California. She's like some soap star. Yes. So she knocks on the door and Peter happens to be home and he answers the door and, and she, I hear her blah, 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 blah. And he says, oh, well, it's my wife. And so I was not looking my finest, let's just say. And uh, I was doing something and we were still under construction, probably had plaster dust in my hair. And I greeted this very stunning blonde woman on my porch who had just come from work and work is being a soap opera star. So she is Mary As Beth Evans As the hourglass Schwartz. turns. Exactly. She's been on Days of Our Lives and various other soap operas for 30 some odd years. She's won six Emmys and she lives not too far away from me. And here's the kicker. She's telling me, I walked past your house and I've seen the transformation and I was actually in this house when it was for sale and I know what it looked like inside and uh, and you know, is this what you do? And I'm like, well, I'm actually a blogger and a this and that and the other thing. And she said, I'm a vlogger too. And then I said, well, where do you live? And she starts explaining this house. And that's the house I covet. Like if I didn't live in my house, I'd want to live in her house. <laughs> and she's like, if I didn't live in my house, I'd want to live in your house. So, and oh, stop it. Yes. So t- dial ahead like, 10 months later, because I said to her, I'm not ready to do it. She's like, I'd love to take a video tour of your house for my blog. And I'm like, we. I'm not ready, lady, you know? And so I bumped into her at the upholsterers, strangely enough, in town. And she's like, we have to do that video. And I said, I'm kind of ready, you know? I'm Uh, never done, but I'm ready. That's right. And so uh, we did it. We taped it a couple of weeks ago and she put it up on her blog and I just shared it on my blog. Okay, uh, here's your assignment. A week or so ago. Here's your assignment. We want to know where her Christmas tree is this year. Oh, Mary (laughs) Beth Schwartz? Yes. Christmas tree. I will ask her. And get back to us. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, how many do do you? Um, where's your Christmas tree, Anita? We didn't hear that. Oh, um, well, I put it in my living. I mean, it's just that one big area, mm-hmm. living room, mm-hmm. kitchen. So I've been putting it on the back wall. But uh, one year, I think I did a shorter tree, a four foot tree, and I put it on the table by the stairs. Anita, don't you have room to put it like in the middle of your room? Because you have such an open concept. I don't, though. That's mm. where, where? 
I the the sofa's in the All middle right, of the room. All right, but then put it next to the sofa. So yeah, but you know, it, it, there's really, there's just, it would block the walking path because you walk around both sides of the oh, sofa to get. Pshaw, just let him go one way. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it yeah. would really mm. block the routes. Yeah. Yeah. How, do any of you, the fire warden would have a major issue. <laughs> I with bet. It. Oh, I didn't know. We you had, and I may resurrect <laughs> this tree, but I'd have to get a new one. We have a little tiny, like skinny pencil tree I put mm-hmm. in the kitchen for years and years and years. And, um, like in our breakfast nook, um, Mm -hmm. and it just, it just, it warmed that whole area up. Now, obviously it's really, really I had the tree in, yeah, I did a tree in my kitchen last year when all the ornaments started coming out Mm -hmm. and I enjoyed that tree because you're in, I'm in the kitchen so much Mm -hmm. and in the living room, I I love that having a real tree in there and we're, we're still going to do a real tree this year. And that has all the family ornaments on it, but I really got to decorate the one in the kitchen uh, with all these vintage ornaments I had gotten at this Mm -hmm. yard sale, which is Mm. such a story in itself about this woman who I learned about through looking through all her things at this estate sale. So I'll link that post in there. Okay. But, um, it gave me so much joy to have that tree where I could see mm-hmm. it all the time mm-hmm. and have the lights on at night. So I would recommend to anyone, whatever room you're in the most, mm-hmm. even if you have to just put a little tiny mm-hmm. tree or a little tabletop tree, treat yourself and put a tree. You know, in there. we can get to enjoy. It. We can get a tabletop tree, and that's what they're called, like at our at our grocery store for nineteen ninety nine. Oh, like we oh, have wow. cross yeah. on the bottom, the little X. Oh, there's so And cute. I mean, you know, maybe it's about, oh, three or four feet high. It's not very, and I just put it in a, in a um, bucket with a bunch of, yeah, of so uh, cute. gravel in it. And it's real. And I just string lights in it. And I don't even decorate it. It's so pretty. Aww. Well, here's the thing. Like a little if Charlie somebody, Brown tree. Well, there, if someone wants a tree, I know you're doing it as an auxiliary mm-hmm. tree. But for someone who just says, you know what? I just can't deal with decorating a full-size tree or I mm-hmm. can't deal with it. What a great idea to buy just this small little tree. Mm-hmm. Put it on a table. Put it on your kitchen island yeah. and enjoy mm. it. Yeah. My kids, when they were growing up, they each had a tree in their room. You're yeah. no, I'm not a big tree. Oh, my girls always have little. Not trees a big in tree, room. really. Like a smaller yeah. tree, like a oh, four don't foot tell tree, my kids. Foot. They're gonna feel so. <laughs> and then you know they got ornaments for them, and they could decorate their own tree. Don't you just love a great recommendation from a friend? Well, we're delighted to be recommending these companies and their wonderful products to you today, and let them know your friends at DTT sent you. Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold at the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Greenchef.com slash 60DTT. And use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quince. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor. And I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pant at $49.90. The price is unbeatable and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. 
And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with Quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with Quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365-day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365-day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. You know, they were little, like three and four. They started really having, being interested in doing the tree. And then every year we bought them an ornament. And this is a really smart thing to do. Buy an ornament every year for your child. Save the box. Write a little sentiment on it. And the reason why you bought it in the year. And nice. so when my kids got married, that was what I gave to both of my daughter and my daughter-in-law as a shower gift. I gave them all their ornaments <gasps> that back. That is so oh. sweet. Ding, 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 Oh, ding. my goodness. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, that was a good ding, one. Ding, ding, but ding, ding, ding. when my <laughs> kids ding. were little, they the whole bottom third of the tree would be decorated. Like over, yeah, and like right, there's nothing else. And it just used to make my skin crawl. Now, and I love my children and I love what they did. And if I, if I could do it over again, I would. But then my husband said to me, Yvonne, why don't we just buy another tree and you could put it in the living room and decorate it. It could be your tree. Oh, Oh, did I have fun with that tree? And that's, yeah. yeah. And Mm. then, so we had the family tree and as they got older, more and more of it got totally decorated you know, and when we started letting them get up on ladders, they loved that because they thought that was like a step stool. That was a you know cool thing to get up high. Um, but really, oh, cute. having you know having a tree in my kids' room, they used to go to sleep with it on, and then I would unplug it. You know, as when I before we went to bed, it was really special for them. Now, my girls love that mm-hmm. too. They would get there, and theirs were little artificial ones, like they yeah, had exactly. white ones. And they would, you know, love to take it out. And each one had a little box that it would go away in. And so they would get their mm-hmm. box and they could take their tree out. And put the tree. But I, I am just in awe of your idea about the ornaments and saving the box and writing on it. We have done, my pa- mom and dad did it with me every year. I could pick out a special ornament and we've mm-hmm. done it with my girls, but I just dropped the ball on saving the box and writing mm-hmm. the year and all of the good things that I could have been doing because that is such a special idea. And now I still do it for my children. I still buy them as a Christmas gift, an ornament, just so they have. And I'm going to start doing that with my grandchildren as well. And I think they will too. Yeah. But I'll, I'll first yeah. of all, I should ask them like, you know, hey, do you mind if I chime in on that? Because now they don't have bare trees. They've got these beautiful trees filled with memories. Nice. Yeah. Oh, what a nice But idea. we know we. So, okay, let's get back to talking about where we're going to put them, right? Um, ha- I like to be able to see my tree when I'm outside, Mm -hmm. (laughs) you Mm -hmm. know, like, so in a window Mm -hmm. is a good idea. If you have a front window, if that's a possibility, or even mine's going to be further back in my long bowling alley room, but I'll be able to see it through the Mm -hmm. front windows when it's lit up at night. And I just love that. I do too. When you walk around the neighborhood and you can see at night into people's houses, I'm such a a nosy Parker, but I just love the coziness. Mm -hmm. I do too. And I love turning all the lights off and just having the tree lights on. I know. Mm-hmm. Isn't it or just magical? seeing the tree do. lights what I miss, from, the lights. you know, since it's in front of my, we're pretty open. So really where, where I have it, the only place I can't see it is in the kitchen. That's why I'm thinking this year I'll put a, a tall skinny tree in my breakfast nook so I can see it. Oh yeah. Do that mm-hmm. again. You mm-hmm. should, because that's a great enjoy idea. So oh, much. I love it. And then I hang usually like dried things on it. Like, you know, um, um, a garland of popcorn and cranberries and and dried oranges. That's what I used to do. So I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, that I makes probably will sense do a lot of pine cones on that this year. But I think wherever you can stick a tree is a good idea because they're just so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They mm-hmm, are so beautiful. Mm-hmm. How about stockings? Do, do you, everybody use yes. stockings? Yes. Well, and you know, last year I put them instead of over the fireplace, I hung them, you know, we have this open area 
mm-hmm. in the living room. So I put them on the stair rail. That, I see. I saw that. That's adorable. That's such a good idea. I think I'll do that this year. That's a good idea. I mean, my, my staircase is a little inaccessible from the, you know, the mm-hmm. outside of it, but if you could, they could go up the steps and get it down because obviously, you know, my kids mm-hmm. are getting older, but they still are definitely buying into the whole Christmas stocking and Christmas presents thing. So I'm, I know we'll mm. still be doing all of that. I have beautiful stockings. I, re, I don't know if, if I ever mentioned this on the podcast, but years ago before I started blogging, I had an Etsy shop with yes, two friends. Yes, you did. And one mm-hmm. of them, it was, is, it, she is a wonderful sewer. And she, we were making Christmas stockings out of real vintage green sacks. Mm. Oh, they're so beautiful. And I was so glad that, you know, we were so excited to sell things. You were like, you didn't want to, oh, I'll buy it. But I did. I said, I'm, but I'm buying these full price from us. So every, so the other girls could get their, you know, their share. Yeah. <laughs> and I, because I have to have a set of these for my Aww. girls. So I have the most beautiful stockings and then my friend mm-hmm. made them. They're really special. Aww. Well, yeah, and I've made some too. Well, what I like to make with the grain sack uh, fabric are the little mini stockings. Mm, and I mm-hmm. love using those on the table and put your fork spoon mm-hmm. and oh mm-hmm. stop it and put on each plate that. oh mm-hmm. adorable but you know where else you could do with the full size stockings is hang them on the back of your chairs. i've done that for years now yeah. this i oh, have a upholstered um breakfast nut chair so i don't have like a, a place to hang them but i did that for mm-hmm. years and years with i i tied them with a big bow and put some greens at the top so it really looked fancy I love oh, it. I love and the other thing idea. is you can hang it on everybody's door. Oh, mm-hmm. that's cute. That's almost like the um, same. Yeah. Oh, and I think thing. it's December the 7th. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. And then what is that? The thing they put the shoes out. Mm-hmm. Put the shoes out. Mm-hmm. Yes. But let me tell you, I have the absolute best post about where to hang stockings. And I'll put that in the show notes. I got really, really heavy. Now you can't hang them when the stockings are full of stuff. And, you know, usually by then Mm -hmm. we take them down and we put them like in everybody's pile. And that's the Uh last thing my, my children that we all open as our, as our stockings. That's sort of the last fun Uh thing. But you take a heavy, I mean, you take a light, light curtain rod that's real long and you take, I have an S and a G for stone gable, like iron, big, heavy iron, um, stocking hang holders. You know what I mean? With a little curve. And instead Mm -hmm. I tie a ribbon to secure the curtain rod to the S and the G on each end. And I thread my cur- my um, stockings along through that. You got that? Whoa. Mm. Do you understand that? Did I explain that? Ding, okay. ding, ding again. That is Double such a- today. Yeah. Let me tell you, it looks so nice because what I did is I hung stockings and I hung little... Um, uh, dried, uh, whatever reeds on, on ribbon, um, boxwood reeds on ribbon in between the stockings uh, at different heights uh, and it, over my, over, over my mantle it looks so nice. Oh, that's a great idea. So let me Very just review nice. this to make mm-hmm. sure I'm getting it right. So you have, these I have big, two heavy, big, heavy stocking holders, stocking hangers, e- one, one on and each side, either end uh, of the mantle. Mm-hmm. I have an S and, and a G for stone gable and laying it. And then I have a very light. You're laying the rod over the hook. No, it won't fit over the hook. So I have a, so I have a black rod with like, I think they're ball finials. And then I have a black and I use uh-huh. black and white check ribbon. And I literally tied the ribbon ar- tied around the, ribbon. Yeah, okay. the, um, the rod and hooked that onto the hook of the stocking holder. I see. Okay. And, That's where the ribbon And comes where, okay. um, and I guess you could use twist ties if you didn't want to see it, but it's so nice because you just have to string everything on to your, uh, the rod before you put the other ribbon up. Or what I did is I did this, I strung the stockings on, but I just used um, the ribbon to put the, um, the, uh, what I just tell you? All I can think of is grapevine. That's not it. It's boxwood. The boxwood boxwood wreaths. And then I just Mm -hmm. tie up, looped it around um, the rod. And I just put a little little pin in back of it just to hold it. 
That is so smart. But yes, and those stocking holders that, you know, either they're brass or they're, I mean, they are heavy mm -hmm. metal, but if you're, if, if your kids are like my kids and they're expecting some real good stuff in those stockings, they usually no, don't and they don't. Mm -hmm. up. So but no. they will hold a bunch so, of, I mean, they, they will hold a bunch of, um, planes, uh, just, uh, stockings that are empty, but I usually throw yeah, like, empty stockings or exactly. greens or something like that. But this, but you would have to, to, if you had more than a couple of kids in your family, right, you'd have to have so many of these. I love this idea, Yvonne. So you just have two mm -hmm. on either end. And I d definitely am not interested in making holes in mm -hmm. my mantle to hang stockings for, uh, you know, uh, mm -hmm. 24 hours. So this is such a great Or solution. if you have a wrought iron bed or something like that, even just for pretty, you can hang a couple yeah. of, tie a ribbon around the loop in a stocking and hang it to the wrought iron mm -hmm. of the um, of the bed post. How pretty would that be? Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And the deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. Inevitably, with the new year, come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add DOSE to your wellness regime. DOSE is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.com co slash DTT and use the code DTT. That's dosedaily.co dot co slash DTT and use the code DTT. Oh, so great. Pretty. Oh, that's a great mm -hmm. idea to put it at the foot of the bed. Mm -hmm. I, I love or if that. you want some decoration, yeah. if you have hooks in your bathroom, you can hang a stocking with greens and a hook from your bathroom. You know, it just looks so pretty. Well, I think anywhere where you might want to hang a wreath. Absolutely, you could do the that's true. You could do maybe just one stocking, but if you're doing the whole family, mm -hmm. so you have to need you need a little more mm -hmm. room. Give the give the curtain rod a, a try because that I'll, I'll put that in the show notes because that just works so well. Yeah, mm -hmm. great I'm idea. I'm, I'm noodling right now where I can use that <laughs> idea. I love it. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think just have your tree where you know, you're going to have your family tree, but then, you know, just have some, have like Yvonne, Bobby said to Yvonne, just have a tree for you. If you like a tree for you. you know? <laughs> I ran with and that idea. You, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll bet you did. You know, cause it doesn't have to be big and I'm finding, uh, cause I've been looking just to see if I maybe might just pick up one more tree for the barn. Oh, if yes. I'm finished with the barn, 
Um, well, you could get a really nice big one there, couldn't you? Yes, I could get a really big one. I, I really want, I'm going to do one real tree because we, that's just what we always do. And that'll be the inside tree. So this would be a faux. But so I've been looking and I have to say there are a lot of trees on sale mm-hmm. still. And I, I would venture to say it's, you know, we get closer to the holidays. They might not be mm-hmm. on sale anymore because, you know, people are desperately wanting them. So you might think, oh, it's too late to get a good price. I think tree. now's I think a good time to get can. them. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. I always think I'm going to buy the tree for next year, mm-hmm. right after Christmas in January or something like that, or in the dead of summer where no one's thinking about Christmas trees. But, you know. No, I think there's a nobody, lot. Including me is thinking about I Christmas trees. I think there's trees. a lot on sale now. I've been seeing, like even our local circulars, there's a few places in town that sell beautiful trees yeah. and they're all on sale. Well, and now it seems like the really deep discounts happen mm-hmm. before Christmas and not necessarily I know. after. Isn't that interesting? It's so true. Hey, and soft surroundings. I noticed when we were looking at the ornaments and whatnot, they have oh, trees. Nice. Yeah, check those yeah, out. Yeah, those thin, they're <clears throat> thinner. They look thinner. I mean, I was looking on my phone, so I, I don't know too much about the uh, heights and widths and all that, but if oh, anybody's interested in one of their trees would be perfect in there, my breakfast nook. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I you know. Yeah, would be. <laughs> Deck oh, tips for you have to use that one. There you go. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but I think that that what you said, Kelly, just is perfect. Make sure that you can see your tree. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. that's a good tip. Because yeah, sometimes and- people put it in their formal living room if people have a formal living room and nobody goes mm-hmm. in there. <laughs> so they just like go in and visit now, the ours tree. ours is in the formal living room, but it can be seen from everywhere in our house except for the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Well, that's perfect. Then you and when the Christmas kitchen. Day comes, we can seat more people in there. Okay. Well, I think the thing that we're saying too is be creative. Do something that works for you. You know, if you want to come up with some kooky tree idea, just do it. Mm-hmm. It's your house. You know, it's 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 there to for your you and your family to enjoy. Mm-hmm. So go have fun with it. And, um, you know, be creative with what you do with your stockings and the tree. Uh, And as always, remember, we're here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time. Hey, everybody. We want to thank you so much for listening to Decorating Tips and Tricks. And we want to make it even easier for you to listen. And it's easier if you subscribe. You just click the subscribe button on our website, www.decoratingtipsandtricks.com. Or you can subscribe through Apple Podcast or any of your favorite podcast listeners. When you subscribe, DTT comes free right to you three days a week. So until next time.